Hey guys, this is James with Isotropic, and in this video I want to introduce CyberPanel to you. So we're going to take a look at what CyberPanel is, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to install it on a DigitalOcean droplet, which costs $5 a month. And there's a lot of benefits here, so uh, something that you should consider. So first, what is CyberPanel? Why should you even care? Uh, I know my audience is WordPress users, enthusiasts, agencies, anybody who uses WordPress definitely wants to be aware of what CyberPanel is. So this is an open source web hosting control panel uh, and it allows you to use open Lightspeed, so Lightspeed web server, Lightspeed caching, um, the, the benefits that come with that are speed, security, and reliability. It allows you to use that as an underlying web server um, hosting and managing WordPress websites as well as any other PHP uh, application. Manage that on a graphical user interface. So uh, this web hosting control panel can be used on any Linux hosting setup, but this can be used with DigitalOcean droplets. This can be used with Vulture uh, instances, and these are really cheap hosting tools that you can use to host anything, including WordPress websites. I have a tutorial on how to install WordPress directly onto a DigitalOcean droplet, and I'll include that in the description of this video. The negative there is that you need to do everything by the terminal with SSH, and it's not super complex, but you need to know server management, you need to know SSH, you need to know basic Linux command line prompts to be able to install WordPress and then manage that WordPress installation. Um, it's kind of limited there, and that's what pushes a lot of people away from DigitalOcean, which allows you to start hosting a WordPress website at $5 per month on enterprise level hosting that's really fast. Um, much better than shared hosting and in some situations is better than um, 20 to $50 a month hosting in terms of speed and scalability. So CyberPanel gives you a visual interface to manage and host and install uh, all your WordPress websites. So um, you can see that you have a backend management panel uh, where you can manage your websites, packages, databases, your DNS, you can create email accounts, install SSL certificates. There's also security settings um, and PHP version uh, package management and all of that fun stuff. Uh, and essentially it just gives you this panel instead of all of this annoying stuff uh, and allows you to host a website, manage that hosting yourself, um, sparing you the cost of 20 to $50 per month managed hosting while still using the same underlying infrastructure of DigitalOcean. So that's what CyberPanel is. It's an open source project. Uh, like many other open source projects, there is a paid hosted version called CyberPanel Enterprise. But because we're going to host it on DigitalOcean, $5 a month, uh, we can do it for free because it's open source. Uh, a also, with the DigitalOcean, uh, if you use my referral link, it's the first one in the description of this video, you can get 100 bucks for six months or six weeks or one of those. You can get $100 to mess around. So sign up, get $100 in credit, uh, and mess around with CyberPanel, see if you like it, see if it offers speed benefits and is easy enough to use for you to host a WordPress website on it. So let's install it, uh, and then I'm going to show you kind of what to do with it which should be able to give you some more information uh, on if you want to mess around with it yourself. So I'm going to create a DigitalOcean droplet, which is a virtual machine that we can host things on. You can see I can install a bunch of different operating systems, but I'm going to go to Marketplace and search for Cyber Panel. And now this is a one-click installation of CyberPanel on the DigitalOcean droplet. Uh, and I'm going to set it at the most basic $5 a month plan that gives me one gigabyte of RAM, one CPU core, and 25 gigs of solid state disk. Um, this is good enough for many smaller WordPress websites, and we can monitor our usage of the resources that we have and easily scale up and down if need be. If we run out of storage, we can also add block storage. I think a gigabyte costs like a cent. Um, we're going to choose our data center region as New York and just set a random password, which I have right here, so I can easily get back to it and use it when logging in. Let's make sure that space isn't there. So we're gonna do that. 
and then we're going to create the droplet. This droplet creation process takes about a minute, so I'll be back when this droplet is created. Uh, log into CyberPanel and show you around the back end. Okay, so the droplet is now created, and this droplet is what we are going to use to host our WordPress site or any PHP application on. Uh, and sitting on top of this droplet is our management panel and we can access the management panel by going to this IP address and port 8090 I believe uh, but before we can log into our cyber panel and begin configuring our backend hosting setup we need to grab our um, we need to grab our login information so the password to log in is what we need the username is admin to get the password we're going to jump into the server via SSH uh, I'm using putty which is a client that allows us to connect to SSH uh, servers so I'm gonna just paste in our IP address I'm going to log in as the root user so root and then use that password that I set up when creating the droplet to get into the back end via SSH and then we're going to run one single command. It's going to output our login information and we will be ready to go. One thing to note is that uh, you can update your system. I'm not going to do that in this video because it takes too long, but that's that. Uh, as you can see, Lightspeed Cyber Panel Server is installed already and we can access it from this URL. Um, the one thing we need to do is grab our password, which is this command, sudo cat lightspeed password. Um, so we're going to grab our lightspeed password. And I think I just started the update, so I'm going to pause this video and come back when the update's done in roughly three minutes. Unfortunately, I did not click N. Okay, so I've skipped ahead. We just logged into our putty SSH panel, uh, and this is our back end of our lightspeed web server that we just configured um i just skipped ahead because i updated it and updating takes like five minutes so the one thing we need to do first we can see that lightspeed is installed uh the cyber panel is installed and we can access cyber panel at this url we can access php my admin here and rain loop which is our email client we can access that here um it's just your ip address of the droplet port 8090 and then to get these two you just do that the one thing we need to do here the reason why we're here is because we need to get our lightspeed password and this command is what will give us the lightspeed password to log into the actual panel so to do that we just enter our command here and I need to there we go there's our command and it gives us the password right here so I'm just gonna copy this password and then I'm going to go ahead and log into the light speed panel or the cyber panel so that's the URL again and then port 8090 and we're gonna just go ahead and accept the risk because it's a self-signed certificate this isn't going to actually impact the front end of the site uh, it's just going to impact your first login and this is the password so we're gonna snag that password and this is the panel uh, this is what we're going to use to manage everything and our login is admin and the password is the password that we recovered from putty the SSH and now we have our lovely backend dashboard and I'm gonna kind of walk you through here and show you what I actually use this for there's a bunch more that I just haven't messed around with yet but this offers a great visual way to manage your web hosting on DigitalOcean. This essentially gives you all the tools that you pay hosting companies for, except it's free. So you can see that we have users, websites, packages, databases, DNS, email, FTP connections, backups, and SSL. In addition to that, we also have uh, the actual server management side of things where we can mess with our PHP, security, mail settings, and then even extend the platform by installing plugins. So I'm going to show you quickly how I would create and install a WordPress website and then I'll leave you to it uh, and this should give you a good understanding of 
what this is, how to install it, and why you may want to use it. So to create a website, we first need to make a package. So I'm going to create a package and I'm just going to name it random. And then the domains we're going to just set to be unlimited disk space unlimited bandwidth unlimited FTP accounts. I'll just make it one for now. I'm going to delete this droplet after this video. Emails, I'm going to set to be one as well, not negative one, normal. And then we're going to create the package. And this package now is created. So we can create a website on this package. And we can apply these packages to users. So if you're trying to manage a bunch of client websites, that's something you can do here too. I'm going to create a website and then I'm going to install WordPress. And then we're going to be on our way. So the domain name would be whatever domain name you set for the site. Uh, so in this example, I'm going to do, and then you would point example.com to this IP address with an A record, and then you'd be on your way. I'm going to include all of this support and then create the website. So now what this does is partition a space on our server for where our website files will live and then we can install WordPress on it in one click uh, and be ready to go. Again, this is managing your website and if you are familiar with how to manage the domains for many websites, we can either point the domain here via a name server uh, and manage our DNS or do what I do and manage DNS through Cloudflare and then point this domain example.com and this example to this IP address and then that IP address goes ahead and um, you get you get it hosted on that IP address which connects to your server and you're good to go so uh, as soon as this website's done we're gonna go and check out the back end and it looks very familiar to another hosting panel that you may be uh, familiar familiar with which is called cPanel and it it pretty much mirrors what cPanel has to offer you uh, so it's not a super steep learning curve okay our site is ready so I'm gonna go list the websites and we'll see that in this list is gonna be the single site so example.com is now linked right here and we can now go and manage our individual site so by managing this site, we can install packages on it. So we can install WordPress and Lightspeed Cache, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. And as we install WordPress, as we install WordPress, I'm gonna poke around in the back end too. So here's our back end panel again. You can see that we have uh, various things here. We can create a staging website, access the server logs, add domains, cron jobs, various configurations. We can even access a complete file manager, like so. Various email stuff, and then our one-click application installation. And then here is our WordPress installed. And if example.com was pointed to this IP address, we'd be able to access WordPress from example.com. Uh, in this situation, I don't believe we're gonna be able to be able to get to it because we don't have any uh, development domain set up. But I guess I'll close up the video now. This is a great open source panel that allows you to manage WordPress websites in a visual manner from your cloud uh, from your DigitalOcean cloud hosting. Uh, it's much better, in my opinion, than just doing a raw server and installing WordPress directly on it. It also gives you access to security packages, uh, speed and performance packages, including Lightspeed, and makes it really easy for you to manage from the back end. Uh, if you've ever used cPanel-based hosting, you'll probably be familiar with basically how this works. You create a website and then you just manage the website using familiar tools and links. 
And then you also have access to your individual databases. You can even run DNS through here, uh, email, FTP accounts, SSL, free SSL, uh, and actual server management here. So uh, go check out CyberPanel. You can get $100 for free, uh, free DigitalOcean credit using the link in the description. And until the next video, I won't see you. In the next video, I will.